In this video, I'll completely cover the Fieldwork mobile app, completing a work order from start to finish. So on the current date, always pull to refresh to see all of the day's appointments. Just note that when you are on a specific date, the system is pulling the data from that date only. So in order to move and receive data for different dates, you have to tap on those dates. And you can scroll back and forth, for instance, to the previous week or future weeks by just moving your fingertip from right to left or left to right. So the first service we'll go through is the bottom service. And that's because I know for sure I put in a PDF document so I will tap that and you'll notice there's a section of service instructions and then a location note. Once you've read those, hit the red OK and you'll be directed to start your job. Tap the red start button and next when you want to review the line items or what you're there for, tap on the invoice line. If you arrive and a job or line item needs to be added, you can do so by hitting the Add button. If you're collecting payment on site, you would hit the red Pay Now button. The service instructions are there. The PDF forms are here, and you'll notice there's a section for each component. We have Notes, Recommendations, Conditions, Material Use, photos, devices, and finally signatures, working from the top down. So we've first covered invoice, next is your service instruction, after that are your PDF forms. When you are having uh, PDF forms completed on site, contracts, this is a location observation report, you would tap the open form and from here, you need to open the form in a PDF reader. I have two to choose from, Adobe Acrobat or PDF Expert. I will open the first one in Adobe Acrobat and show you the difference between the two programs. So Adobe Acrobat is free, and it is the preferred viewer when you're not graphing. So you'll notice all of the blue lines can be used for typing. When I tap in any of the blue lines, the device keyboard appears. I can speak into the device to record notes by tapping on the microphone, or I can type in my notes. And once I've hit done, the keyboard will go away. If I zoom in, you can see that I typed in information. The checkboxes are just that. If I tap certain checkboxes, they will be then indicated with information. And then signatures are at the bottom. So I can tap on the signature box. And if you don't have a saved signature, tap the icon here. It will open up a toolbar, pick the pencil or pen icon, and then sign. Once you've signed, hit save, and then you can be done or sign again. I'll go ahead and sign the bottom one as well and save that. So now I'm done, and instead of tapping back to field work, what I want to do is upload the completed document. So I tap the upload button, and I'm going to select open in. Scroll over to field work and tap field work. And you'll notice that that document is now completed. So I can do the same with the second document by tapping on the document. And this one I'll complete in PDF Expert. It's a little different. This particular PDF program costs a one-time download fee, but it has a pretty neat graphing. So when I go to the graph on the NPMA 
and I tap that, I'm going to select the shapes and we'll select square. Let's see if that's it. There we go. The arrow and then the square. And there's my exterior structure. I'm going to hit the check mark to save it. And then if I want to hit the three dots, there are additional spaces for text, stamps, conversation blocks, and signatures. I'm going to pick the stamps. And on here, you can mark different areas with red X's, check marks, or you can create a custom stamp. So if this is something that you want to play around with a little bit and customize that's um, within the capacity of this particular program. And for this one, I'm going to pick the draft stamp and put draft on there. Once I've completed in PDF Expert, you'll notice the upload button is in the upper right corner. So in order to finish up, I'm going to hit the checkbox and upload. When I upload from PDF Expert, I'm going to open in. And this one, I'll choose a flattened copy. And scroll over to pick field work. And that's completed. So those are the two different options. You have Adobe Reader or PDF Expert, and uh, I'm sure there are other programs out there. Those are the two that I prefer. When you want to add in general notes, these are report findings, tap on notes, touch to add, and type in the notes or findings. And again, use the voice to text if you prefer to speak into the device and hit save. The sec second section are private notes and private notes will go back only to the office. And then recommendations and conditions are brief lists that you may or may not utilize in your account and when you do so you'll notice that they're easy to select. Just tap them and then they appear as a note or under the recommendations in the report. The same is for conditions. And next I'll go under material use. So when I tap on the gray rectangle material use, it tells me there's none added. So I'll have to add in material. For this I'll pick the first will be contract and I'll add in eight units. And we'll use bait station method is going to be baiting. And target pest we'll put in rat. Done. Location would be exterior. And save. So once I've entered in my information, I hit save. And I can continue adding in as many materials as I need. Photos are straightforward. When you have photos, they appear there. If you want to add in a new photo, tap Add. Choose from camera to take a new photo. Take the picture, use photo, put in notes, and save, and they then appear. Barcode scanning for devices is also utilizing the device camera and you can view all. This will display all devices on site and as you scan and check those they move over from the unchecked to the checked list for each service. Last are your signatures. The top signature is your customer signature and the bottom is the technician. Now that it's complete, hit save. And the options you have right now are save and exit, complete and exit, complete an email, preview.
or cancel. For 98% of all of your jobs, you're going to use complete and exit. Save and exit are for when you don't want to change the status but save all of the data. Complete an email is when the job needs to be emailed to someone outside of the accounts contact list. So complete an email will auto email anyone in the account that is listed to receive an email upon completion.